An opinion is one of the most sacred things a person can have. That in itself is an opinion because some may believe opinions are meaningless. But whether someone believes they're sacred or meaningless, almost everyone can agree that at least they should be well informed and armed with relevant information. With that, I'd like to turn my eye to one of my recent opinion pieces, my video titled, I Wish We Could Swim Beyond Fontaine. This video is an opinion too, just look at the title. Comments have those who agree and disagree, and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with the overall sentiment of the video, that I wish we could swim beyond Fontaine, but there's a subsection of the video that deals with the forward-moving contributions of the nations of Tibet. In this subsection, I pointed out various things that each region has added to the game, carrying over into new regions into the future. Mondstadt and Liyue gave us a game, Inazuma set forth several gameplay systems and standards, and Sumeru gave us a new element. In the context of Fontaine, I argued in this subsection that going into Natlin, it was a letdown that there were no wide gameplay changes from Fontaine moving forward with us. My point with that was to say that swimming was that obvious thing that could have been added to the game, that obvious answer for something to carry forward, because of how game-changing and unique it was. But since it wasn't moving forward, it was Fontaine's one missed opportunity to contribute something systemically to the game. Well, I no longer agree with that stance of mine. I'd like to express how openness to others' opinions and thoughts is critical to being critical. To use two definitions of one word in the same sentence. <laughs> I appreciate each and every comment on any opinion piece I put out there, as they help me either reaffirm my own positions, or in some cases think differently about them. And on this swimming video, I woke up today to what I can only say is a humbling rejection of my then opinion about Fontaine's lack of contributions. At Blaze McKenzie 6972 commented the following. To your point that Fontaine didn't change anything in the game, you're incorrect. Fontaine brought what I would call a strong universal character design and gameplay gimmicks, as in the HP loss and gain, Bond of Life, Numa Osea and characters being incentivized to be used with characters of the same region. Those things carry over when it comes to the Night Soul mechanics, mainly Night Soul's Blessing and Burst, with each respectively being HP loss and gain, and Numa Osea. If you were to say Sumeru did that, I can sort of see that argument, but it was kind of circumstantial rather than intentional. But great vid. End quote. In a word, yes. <laughs> this comment, it convincingly dismantles my previous opinion. Sure, it might not be the thing I most wanted to take forward, swimming, but to state that nothing was being taken forward was a stretch. And Blaze McKenzie demonstrated this counter well. So why? What had me so wrong about this? Well, the response to this user is two parts, and I'm going to separate the parts because honestly, the second part of my response is what I believe to be the most crucial for coming to self-realization. In fact, it might make the first part irrelevant, but I'll read it all. For the first part, I said the following. This is the kind of comment I really appreciate, thanks. The kind that makes me re-examine my own opinions. As for your number one, that's all fair. It's a taste thing and that's opinionated. As for your point number two though, that's the point I'm most humbled by. I think it's a pretty fair argument to say that these kinds of collective regional character mechanics can be considered Fontaine's forward moving legacy. In my contextual defense, at the time of this video, August 11th, I had not ever heard of Night Soul's Blessing until the 5.0 livestream. August the 15th. Ever since late Inazuma slash early Sumeru, I've also been much less inclined to look at leaks or receive information before official announcement, as I found it helps me feel more excited when things are officially announced. So at the time I made this, 
I didn't know a regional character trend had yet started. This part is somewhat important. That video was uploaded a few days before I learned through the official channels what Natlin's Night Soul Blessing even is. For the sake of my own enjoyment, I've stopped trying to be ahead of the official information so much and it's been a big part of me continuing to enjoy the game. I've found that it's nice to be surprised the normal way. So since I put that video out days before the live stream, I didn't know yet that regional character mechanics as a systemic idea, an idea solidified in Fontaine for all those reasons Blaze McKenzie listed, was going to be an idea taken forward into Natlin. Note, it doesn't have to be the exact things from Fontaine, such as HP loss and gain, Bond of Life, or Numa and Osea. It's the idea of universal character design and regional character gimmicks that's moving forward, and what makes things like Night Soul Blessing and Night Soul Burst, mechanics that you can say are derivative of Fontaine's game design elements, like Bond of Life. The idea of macro level mechanics being applied to characters from a particular region, that's something we kind of didn't get into with Fontaine. But, <laughs> am I distracting you from an important detail right now? Even with everything I just said, with me not knowing yet about Natlin's Night Soul mechanics because the live stream came days later, is that alone a valid excuse for me incorrectly stating that Fontaine was contributing nothing to gameplay going forward? Not at all. You see, all I did there was describe why I didn't have the information, but it's not an absolution. Remember when I said my response was two-part and the second part might make the first part irrelevant? Here's the second part of my response. However, I'm not without some level of fault there still, because at that time, without information yet on Natlin's full scope of mechanics, saying Fontaine's giving nothing going forward is being very assumptive. So I still made a bit of an oopsie whoopsie there, and that's something I should be mindful of. I'm rethinking my stance on Fontaine's future legacy enough that I want to do a small corrective video on it. And it's in large part thanks to this comment pointing it out. Not that I never would have come to the conclusion eventually, but this pointed it out before I was able to get to that point myself. I hope you don't mind me using your comment in the video. Thanks for commenting, and I hope you stick around for more. You see, I didn't know of Natlin's Night Soul mechanics just yet, sure, but that's something I should have taken into account. The fact that I didn't have, really, any information on possible mechanics in Natlin to make an informed enough opinion on Fontaine's future influence. In short, it might be just a little assumptive to say Fontaine gives nothing going forward into Natlin without knowing what's there in Natlin. You can make guesses, but in the end, it's probably still best to frame them as guesses rather than stating them as opinions with strong convictions. I didn't know about Night Soul mechanics. If I did, then I could have concluded, well, Fontaine is giving us regional character mechanics. But it's still my own lack of proper verification there that's at fault. I did have options. I could have chosen not to say that Fontaine's offering nothing going forward, leaving it out completely. I could have postponed the opinion until Natlin in full release, then gone on from there once I had the information needed. Or, and I believe this to be the best fit, I could have simply added a modifier stating that the opinion potentially lacked future information. Several versions of such a modifier exist. I could have said, with what I or we know so far, there's no forward moving ideas from Fontaine. Or I could have said, as it stands, there's no forward moving ideas from Fontaine. Or maybe I could have said maybe this changes as we learn more, but there's no forward moving ideas from Fontaine. You get the picture. But the point is, any one of these kinds of modifiers would have been sufficient enough to provide a foundation for a statement to stand. That way, if I'd learned something new in the future that made me second guess Fontaine's contribution to the game, then at least the statement could have been time locked to that essay's day, that date 
and nothing else would have needed to have been said about it. <laughs> In that case, people could point to it and say that my stance is outdated, but at least they wouldn't be able to point to it and say that it is uninformed and thus closer to just being wrong. By not having any kind of conditional modifier there, the statement isn't locked to any special rules. And that makes me much more responsible for my convictions behind my statement. So what to take away here? It's simple. Modern business psychologist Adam Grant has said it best. If knowledge is power, knowing what we don't know is wisdom. I formed an opinion without yet seeing what the future holds. I should have taken into account that there was information out there that I did not yet know. And that's not even saying that my opinion was definitely going to change after learning new information. It's possible that in the end, even after learning of the Night Soul mechanics, that I didn't feel it was significant enough to say Fontaine passed it forward. I think that would have been a heck of a stretch, but by some mental gymnastics, it's possible for someone to still hold that conclusion. But the fact of the matter is, in the real world and not that hypothetical one, my opinion has changed on the subject. Fontaine is actually passing a game idea forward. The idea of regional character mechanics. Maybe in my emotional pitch to have wanted swimming to be that thing, or one of those things moving forward, I may have subconsciously closed off any other possibility out there. I did briefly mention the Numa and Osea mechanics were lost too when I said this in that video. But what are we taking forward from Fontaine? I can tell you what we're not taking, swimming. <laughs> That's gone. The Numa and Oisa systems too, but eh, that wasn't nearly as transformative as swimming. And sure, some might look at improvements during Fontaine cycles such as higher resin cap and new in-game modes, and they may say, well, aren't these permanently transformative? We'll have these going into Natlin. They don't feel like Fontaine improvements and additions as much as they do just general improvements and additions, though. Not to mention they were long overdue anyway, let's be real. But this is different. I was talking about Numa and Osea themselves not moving forward, but on a principle level, their idea, which is that of regional character mechanics, is something moving forward. Some may be tempted to say Sumeru did that with things like the Trilexana open world mechanics, but that's just the thing, that's open world mechanics, not character mechanics like Numa and Osea, Bond of Life, and HP Drain from Fontaine. As well, the livestream has changed my opinion on a couple of other things, and not even related to Fontaine. My original opinion of Inazuma was that its claim to fame was standardizing systems moving ahead. For instance, it gave sigils a new purpose with the offering systems, like the Sacred Sakura. We got the Tree of Dreams and Fountain of Lucene based off of it. Someone argued Dragonspine really did this but I disagreed on basis that Dragonspine does not use sigils. Dragonspine uses world collectibles more similar to Oculi. The reward system of the Dragonspine tree itself is very similar to the sigil offering systems, sure, but my point was that sigils as offerings was standardized in Inazuma. I wasn't saying that offering systems as a whole are an Inazuma claim. <sighs> I somewhat digress though. The main Inazuma one I wanted to address is that I argue that Inazuma standardized the reputation system going forward. This one was also deflated a bit by the live stream, with what seems to be a totally revamped reputation system for Natlin. It's harder now to say Inazuma standardized a reputation system when it's undergoing a rework in Natlin. I said we could rely on future regions reputation systems following the Inazuma model with rewards and bounties. Doesn't seem to be the case anymore though. The model itself seems like it might be pretty different. Do I think Inazuma gave us some important game mechanics and structural ideas? Yes, but its influence now feels much weaker after seeing Natlin. In my opinion, with my renewed view of Fontaine's contributions, 
and reputation's new take. I believe Inazuma may be the weakest in terms of systemic ideas added into the game. Especially because I also claim that Inazuma standardized Statue of Seven offerings as a whole, with things like Traveler Constellations and Shrine Keys. But something weird is going on with the Natlin Statues of Seven. So, I will responsibly say that I'll have to wait and see what's going on with these Natlin Statues of Seven before I judge whether Inazuma's statue standardization still holds. <laughs> I will wait and see before making that judgment. Well, what does all this mean for my swimming video though? Yeah, nothing much. <laughs> With everything said here, the idea is still largely the same, that I'm going to miss swimming. This all came from a subsection of that video, but it doesn't do anything to change the point of the video overall, which is that I think swimming beyond Fontaine would be cool but it does serve to at least debunk a part of what I was saying, which was that swimming was the one big macro thing that Fontaine could have offered up, and that Fontaine would be offering nothing else. That part just is not true, at least not in my opinion anymore. Fontaine has other ways it's contributing, it's just not in the way that I found to be the most blatantly obvious choice, swimming. But that's it, there's not really much more for me to say on this subject. I'm leaving this little essay with a lot of thanks to all the people who listen to me either praise, gripe, criticize, dissect, or otherwise, things about these games that I like. And I encourage any and all comments, always. I read everything that people say, and most of the time, not gonna lie, by the end I'm still pretty firm in my opinions. I'm not easily swayed by many things, but I am always open to new perspectives. I think anyone should at least be open to listening, because otherwise, you're just being willfully ignorant and that ain't good. <laughs> make sure you're not jumping ahead of your own opinions, and make sure you at least give relevant modifiers if needed. It doesn't matter if you're talking about these games or anything else in your life. And above all else, just make sure that your opinion is informed enough that you're not going to have to do a million flip-flops later. Because these things are critical for being critical. <laughs> Peace.